Okay, so now we're going to talk about parameter estimation in log linear models. This is the problem of taking a set of training examples as input and producing as output a setting for the V parameters that I showed you in the previous part of this lecture. So a first key idea in parameter estimation is going to be the following. I'm going to assume I have some set of training examples. So each training example consists of an XY pair. So I'll write XI, YI to be the ith example in my training set. I'm going to assume I have little n training examples. Each XY pair is such that the XI is a member of the set of inputs, the YI is a member of the set of possible labels. So as one example in the language modeling problem, each XI would be a sequence of words, such as the dog saw, we have three words in this case, and each YI would be uh, a single word, which was seen following the sequence of words. Okay, and you can see it's easy enough, given a large amount of text, to gather training examples of this form, which basically consists of contexts together with the word appearing uh, as the next word in that particular context. So we're again going to employ maximum likelihood estimation in this scenario, at least as a first pass at this problem. A little later we'll see how to smooth these estimates, how to regularize them, but for now let's consider maximum likelihood estimation. And that means that the maximum likelihood parameters, V sub ML, are going to be the parameter values out of the space of all possible m-dimensional vectors that maximize some function L of V. So L of V is going to be a function that takes a parameter vector as input and returns some value, which is basically going to be a measure of how well those parameters fit the data. More precisely, it's going to be the log likelihood of the data under the parameters. So what does that mean? L of V is defined as follows. So I have a sum over the n training examples. I have a sum from i equals 1 to n. And then I have the log probability of the ith training example. So that's log of p of yi given xi under parameters v. OK, so the training sample is fixed. But as we vary the parameters v, these probabilities will change. They'll become higher or lower. And so here we just have a sum over all of these log probabilities, one log probability for each item in the training set. And that's how we define L of V. Now intuitively, we would like these probabilities to be as high as possible, reflecting the fact that our parameters V fit the data well. And so if we maximize this function L of V, we'll have put high probability on the training examples that we actually see. More formally, there are many nice properties you can derive of maximum likelihood estimation which apply quite generally and certainly apply to this particular case. Okay, so just to remind you, P takes the following form. It's E V dot F dot 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 over some normalization term. It takes this kind of form. If we take log of this whole thing, we end up, as I showed you just previously in this lecture, E uh, V dot F minus log something, okay? And so this expression here, to be more explicit, has this form where I have some i equals 1 to n of v dot f x i y i. So this is actually the feature vector on the ith uh, training example. And here I have these kind of log normalization terms. I have a sum i equals 1 to n log. Here I have a second sum over possible labels y primed e of v dot f of x i conjoined with I prime, uh, Y primed. Okay, so that is the basic definition of the maximum likelihood estimation problem. We're going to try to choose the parameters V to make this function L of V as large as possible. And so the, the big remaining question is how do we actually optimize L of V? How do we find these maximum likelihood estimates?
Before we get to that, I want to talk about one critical property of LV, which is the following. LV is concave. And this means essentially it is a very nicely behaved function. So although in the general case, finding a closed form solution to this argmax is not going to be possible, because LV is concave, um, it's fairly easy to optimize it. So what does it mean to be concave? Imagine we just have a single parameter, V1. Okay, so we have the one-dimensional parameter uh, vector in this case. 